Hey, what's up, everybody? Dave Donahue here, Savannah, Georgia. Uh, pertaining to this week's discussion on uh, the two pilots getting uh, getting into some uh, weather, maybe that they're wanting to check up on. Um, if I was in the airplane with another pilot, I was the pilot. Uh, you know, getting caught up with uh, uh, a workload and wanted my uh, compadre to help me out with the weather and get a weather uh, update. I guess it just kind of depends on the, uh, uh, you know, to what level or to uh, what extent you're trying to get uh, get briefed. Are you, you know, are you trying to get that full service brief, that that complete big picture, uh, big weather picture uh, update, or are you uh, are you just looking for, um, you know, you're just trying to get ahead of the ball, ahead of the airplane as far as a METAR goes at, at your destination. Uh, so that that would uh, really determine what exactly went on. But um, if I was uh, pretty caught up in the workload, I, we could always isolate uh, the comms, and uh, I could have my buddy uh, call flight services for an update, or uh, he could even use that isolation to check ADISs along the route. Uh, you know, just split the frequency, and uh, he can go to work, and I can continue doing what I'm doing, and uh, uh, man the radio still. Uh, so, and along with that, if, uh, if he was out of range, I guess he could always use, uh, the number that's provided if it's, uh, if there's a phone number where he could call into the, uh, to the ASOS and, and get it that way. So, uh, next to that, the, um, the G1000 provides the wind vector display and outside air temperature. You could use that for more immediate sense of, uh, weather changing on you. And uh, if the G1000 is enabled, if a subscription is there for the XN data, you could always, uh, of course, go to that um, feature and get NextRad uh, and, and use that for your um, for your drawing the big picture. Just remember with NextRad, obviously, it's old information, um, and it, this next to the being old information, it uh, also only uh, displace precip so uh you, you could be getting into some you uh, just because you're staying well clear that doesn't mean that you wouldn't encounter clouds that uh weren't quite uh, up, up to time on the uh on the next rad uh you also have the lightning soft key at your disposal on the g1000 and show you uh um, lightning strikes and uh, the wind soft key, which show you the winds at the winds at altitude. So next to that, if if I'd like to play the what if on uh, if uh, your co-pilot wasn't quite up to speed on the G1000, um, of course they could always refer to four flight, and uh, to get that weather briefing, they could they could even uh, go to the briefing section where they file a flight plan. They look at a, a flight plan and, and they can see the actual weather briefing and that'll give you everything from surface analysis charts to icing to just about everything but uh honestly probably just splitting the frequency and having them uh isolated and calling flight services would would be one of the uh one of the best options i feel like um yeah. Oh, I forgot. Uh, I guess you could use the FMS not to scroll uh, and find airport information and actually access METARs from there as well. Um, back to the four flight note, actually, real fast. They can also, one of my favorites is checking PI reps along the way. So that would be my uh, uh, antidote to the situation, I guess. Right, I'm looking forward to hearing what you guys have to say.